This is Chris Gattaho, painter here on Paint Life TV. Today I got Journeyman John with me, and we are going to be <coughs> reviewing a spray. Oh, just peed on me. It just took a leak on you, John. That's what you get for messing around. So here we go. We have two sprayers sitting on here, and there's a reason why we have the two sprayers on here, but we're really, in actuality, we're going to be reviewing this Dino or Dino. Power X6. So, John, you've done a whole lot of research with it. I, out of the job site, we sprayed a door with it. We sprayed a clear coat on a door with this thing. And you know it's interesting because it's an airless sprayer and it did spray the clear coat and it did clear coat the door. And when we were using it out there, we thought it was a complete identical knockoff to a Graco X. Five, which we have standing right here. That's the Magnum X5. So we went down, we bought this one from our local homes in the depots, and um, and we got it here, and we're like, whoa, it's not an exact knockoff of the Great Go. There are some differences. So you email the company, you learn a whole lot of stuff about it, that it's got all kinds of really proprietary stuff on it, and makes it like, you know, pretty stealth, like you fly to the moon and stuff like that. So why don't you discuss a little bit about this little thing? Yeah. I, there, there's really not a lot to it, right? Like, like Chris said, it sprayed. It did what it was supposed to. Um, so Dino Power or Dino Power. We're going to say Dino Power because I, I think it looks like a little dinosaur. It looks like a little something off Star Wars. It like does. Like C3PO or something like that. So what they're claiming is that they think this is, obviously they think this is better than any Graco or Titan Wagner product out there that's similar. Uh, it retails, they say, for about between $250 and $300. There's not a lot of them in the US. This is a Chinese company, so it's, it's a made in China. Uh, like Chris said, initially we looked at it and I was completely convinced that it was just a knockoff of a Graco X5. Like, they just decided to up the number a little bit and mold it in green instead of blue. Um, but that's not completely the case. There are a few things that are different with it. Um, one is that it is oilless. 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 So does that mean this one has oil in it? That one needs oil, apparently. Um, apparently. So. so that would be like the, I think like TSL, right? Yeah. Or a piston loop, something like that, where it needs to be lubricated every time before you use it in order to keep everything working. Uh, this guy apparently does not need that. They also said that this thing, you can actually change out the piston and packing, whereas with the X5 from Graco, I believe they said with Titan as well, or Wagner, whichever family of that that you buy, um, those parts, you, you can't change it out. Once it's toasted, that's it. No mas. And so we're, we're um, and so they, they are saying a whole lot of things that we're not sure about because, for one thing, they say that theirs is oilless and this one's not, but this doesn't even come with oil. And every sprayer that requires TSL or pump, um, not pump. This this has got pump protector in it, but not on the TSL or um, what's it called? The other one is for piston loop. There, also, there is no place for piston loop. There's nowhere to pump. Um, so there's nowhere to lube the thing, so I don't believe that's necessarily true with this unit. Mm. So um, we've determined that was a lie. That was um, a falsehood. False falsehood. False 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 statement. Because it does, um, we can see it comes with pump armor, and that's it. And so with that, there's no question that if it needed um, that lubrication, it would be in with the box and the kit. Um, there was the gun. They said something about the two guns, John, that you told me. Here's the gun there. Both of these guns are probably the cheapest guns you, know, you could possibly use. One might be a little cheaper than the other. Um, and that's, there's a lot, whole lot of truth to that. So this gun, we actually did a, a video modifying this gun. It, it used to be a four-finger gun, and we chopped it down to a two-finger gun. But this has to be the cheapest gun I've ever seen in my life. But it did have this really cool feature that I liked on it, or um, the lock on it. This best was, uh, award for best trigger lock on a spray gun. On any spray gun I've ever seen, best trigger lock. put that on the box. That was really cool. I'd hope you um, award for best 
trigger lock. Yeah, very extremely lightweight. I mean, yeah, one of the things we'll do, we'll zoom up here and you guys will be able to see on these guns just the difference between the little rods that you push the trigger back with. Like, look how much is exposed on the Graco right in here rather than the, the Dino Power one where you've got like an eighth of an inch. So there's, there's a lot less play here and a lot more trigger play on this gun. It, it just feels better in the hand. This one, uh, I think we both were commenting on the fact that we felt like this gun kind of hurt to use because of how small the trigger play was. Right? Uh, yes, and you know, there was another thing that we um, figured out with this. This came with tips on the guard. It came with an extension too and it wasn't universal. Remember, we could not use them on other guns. Um, we couldn't use the extension or the tip on our other Graco because right, of right, right. Because the uh, thread, yeah, the thread length on this is a bit longer versus the, the Graco and the Titan, it's a tad bit shorter. Yeah, so it's interesting. So that this gun came with, um, it, came with an, it came with an extension. Mm -hmm. came with a short extension about this long. And then it came with a tip and guard. There's the, there's the gun box. I don't think it has an extension. Okay. It does have the tip and guard. They, there's the tip and they guard. They do have a proprietary tip and guard, which you only have to hand tighten instead of using a wrench. It, you know, and it's interesting because, it, you know, when it comes to tools and stuff, and I'm always, you know, my, my thing is, first, I like the tool just to look like it's quality made. And this right here doesn't look like it's quality made, but um, that does kind look of like little, it belongs like, like you know, it's a, no. like Thundercats. It's right? kind of a little bit hokey. Big again. X. But I did. I mean, this unit here and this unit here. Hey, this has got aluminum. This is plastic. So uh, we got you know a difference there. I think they're both extremely lightweight. But also, you how much did you pay for this thing? You went down. To, $299. You didn't get it from Lowy's, you got it from the homes and the depots. So $299, and how much, how much was this one? They said this guy retails for $250 to $300. So let's be honest, that means $300, so it's the same price, but sometimes you can get it on sale. Um, it does say it's a professional airless spray gun. I find that really hard to believe. So, um, I, you know, I know Graco, when it comes to their X5, their X7, we have sitting up there, those things, they're specifically marketed just to the do-it-yourselfer. And it's interesting, on their box, and the box is over there, it, it doesn't even have, I'll grab it, it doesn't even have a professional painter on it. It's just, you know, an individual, looks like a do-it-yourselfer. So they, they don't claim that it's for a you know, professional painter. They're making it, see there's a, there's a gal right here, she's obviously not professional, this guy's, none of them are wearing painting clothes. So I gotta hand it to them. This, because the, these units, this is, not meant to be for us. It's not meant to spray every day. I mean, how much, how many gallons is this rated for? I know on the box, the X7 is only, how many gallons? It's like 100 gallons. 100 gallons. A year, I think. A year, and so it's not, we would burn it up, you know, no, within a month. This is 125 gallons a year. A year, 125 gallons a year. And so the, the, yeah, the X7 is probably a little bit more. This thing right here is probably going to be that same range. It's by no means a professional model, but the price reflects that. We're going to say, hey, this thing, if you needed to spray a door, if you needed to spray your exterior, do you think you can spray a full exterior? Yeah, totally. One, probably spray one exterior and a fence. Maybe you'll get a little bit more out of it than yeah. And it's going to spray an airless finish. I think there's going to be a difference in the quality of the finish. You're not going to be able to achieve a fine finish. Yeah. A really it, fine finish. It's going to be slower. You're going to be limited to a smaller tip size. I believe both of these things max out at like a 515 tip. Um, you might be able to run like a 517 off of this one, but it's going to be everything this pump can do to keep up with you and you're going to have to move quite a bit slower to get a, a good finish. These things operate just like a standard air sprayer. You're going to have, you know, pressure. Uh, this is going to indicate, you know, low pressure, high pressure, whatever you want your pressure set at. It's got a prime valve right there where you just flick it to prime. You prime it, get the thing up and running, 
And um, we do have some video footage that you're gonna be seeing throughout this video of us using this thing that day. One of the things, this has got just your typical rock art on it right here. And the one thing that was really cool about Graco, even though this is just this you know, inexpensive do-it-yourself sprayer, which is not a bad sprayer for a do-it-yourselfer, this feature where you could hook it up with a hose is pretty dang cool. Yeah, I wish they had that on like big kid sprayers too. Yeah. Yep, so, um, you know, we're not familiar, you know, we use the contractor, the, the perfect, the real professional, you know, model spray guns and stuff, so these, neither one of these guns are by any of these professional guns. It only comes with 50 feet of hose. Do you think you could run any more hose than that, with that little gizmo? I mean, you just keep losing more pressure. Like, I, I really think you could probably throw another hose on there if you really want it, but only if you're using, like, a 310 tip. 410 tip, something along those lines. Yeah, it has a whole bunch of numbers on here, but those numbers, they are, I'm, I don't know, that must be Chinese or something, because I'm not sure what they're referring to. But um, that might be the tip size, so it says it could run a 519, is what it's... 519 max. I mean, yeah. you could push paint through a 519 with this. It's yeah. just not gonna be pretty, and you're gonna do it like once. So is there anything else in your email you wanna share about this thing? No, you know, there's, um, there's like one company, Aleco, I think, that has some in stock in the States that they were going to try. Uh, you know, Dino Power thinks that they're going to kind of take the spraying world by storm. Uh, it's a little hard to say. Like I said, I was pretty convinced when we first got this and I looked at some pictures of the X5, I was sure it was just going to be a, a knockoff. Um, it, it has some differences, but I think this is pretty safe to say we're comparing apples to apples with this. You never know if they get a hold of Luke Skywalker. You never know what can happen. So um, you are only hope, Obi Wan. Yes. So there you have it. A review. Um, would you buy the thing? I mean, we're professional painters, so there's no need for us to buy it. Really. I mean. Um, you can't buy it. Can you buy it anywhere in the States? Anywhere? There's right one company, and I don't even know where they're at and how to, yeah. There's only one company in the States that has it. You can, I think you can order them online. I saw like in Australia, someone has a distributor, but they're just not widely available. Just, but yeah. there's that temptation, right? Like to go down to Harbor Freight or somewhere like that and basically buy the exact same thing, yeah. just a knockoff, you, you know, is it worth it? Yeah. If you pay 300 bucks for this, or do you yeah. save up a little bit more and get something that's gonna last longer? Yeah, we didn't pay for this thing. They just it showed up on our doorstep, so to, to test out, um, and there you have it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned a little bit about these little tiny um, airless sprayers and what they're all about, you know, and um, whether you should get one. Hopefully, it, you know, um, gives you some information on whether you should buy one. You just got some small projects around the place to do. It's gonna get it done, but it's gonna wear out fast. Well, we're gonna have to get going because we gotta get back to work. And um, it's that time again, friends. We gotta go. Stay lovely. If you enjoy our videos, please give us a thumbs up and a hug.